Alex, this is a review of your lesson from January 8th, 2021. And on this day, we went over the, the retreat, 3-4 March, called Castle Dangerous. We reviewed the first line, especially the first three measures of the first line. And we want to go over each measure on their own so you can practice with me. So we're going to look at measure number one. It starts on a D throw. It goes up to E, F doubling, and then a high A doubling. So that first measure sounds like this. Let's try it again. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. If that measure, any part of it is giving you trouble, go ahead and pause the video, try it on your own, and then try to play it with me again, or you can slow down the speed on the video if that is helpful. After the first measure, you're, you're ending it on a high A, right? And the next doubling that you play at the beginning of the second measure is a half F doubling. So you're on high A and you're gonna go to F, G grace note on F. So that transition is It's the transition from measure one to measure two. High A to half F doubling. So you want to make sure you can do that transition. So we're going to start measure two on that high A. All right. And as I said before, it goes to the F doubling. Then it goes to D. It goes to a G grace note to low G from D. Right. And then there's this D grace note up to B. So that's a lot of... Um, maneuvering on the low hand um, to think about. So before we play it, let's practice going from D to low G with a G grace note. High G grace note. It goes like this. Again. Make sure you're getting full closure on that low G. Again. Alright, the next part of that, that uh, measure is from that low G that you just landed on is a D grace note up to B. In slow motion, you're actually moving all these three fingers up at the same time and then just landing that one. You might wanna try that on your own, lifting, lifting all these three fingers up together, keeping the middle finger on, and then landing the right pointer, right? Is what we're listening for. That's probably something you wanna practice on your own, but let's try it. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So you'll definitely want to practice the video and, and work on that D grace note up to B from low G. And after that, you're done with the measure. So the third measure, excuse me, the second measure sounds like this from the high A before it. Again, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. If that's too fast, slow down the video and uh, practice with that or practice it on your own. The next measure is the third measure. It's the last one we're going to go over today. And <clears throat> it starts with a new doubling for you. It's a D doubling. In the past, you have played D throws, right? Which is, but we want to do a D doubling in this situation. And <clears throat> the note before it is a B from the previous measure, the B you just finished, just played. And you're going to do a from B, you're going to do a G grace note up to D, and an E grace note on D. So it goes like this. In this instance, we're always starting it from B because that's what's in the music. 
from the from the uh, previous measure. Definitely practice that a few times, um, either with the recording or on your own. And then after we get to that D comes the Lim Lua, which is a unique movement. It's a type of grip, and um, Lim Lua is the uh, the Gallic name for it. And we're coming from D, and we close the chanter to low G. We lift up our B finger and lower it. That plays a B grace note and a second low G grace note because when we land, we're on low G. And then we lift up our finger to get to low A. And here's how it sounds from D. Again. Again. So the Lum Lua, definitely you want to take some time on it. We talked about during the lesson how we want to make sure that the low G's are heard. You know, you sound them. Don't feel like you need to get off of them quickly. It's very important to hear them. So after you play the Lim Lua, you're on low A, right? We did D, Lim Lua to low A, like this. And in the music, after the Lim Lua, we have a D throw, which is a familiar movement for you. Just a D throw from low A. That's the third measure. So we're going to play the third measure. Um, I'm going to play it multiple times in a row, and you can accompany as, as you're able. So we're going to go one, two. One, two. Gets you to the end of the third measure. Now, if you are about five days into your uh, your week, waiting for your next lesson, and you want to go over the fourth measure, it's um, going to be easy compared to what you've just done. You just played your D throw at the end of measure three, and there's a G grace note up to F, high A, half E doubling, and then you hold that E doubling for two beats. All right, it's held quite a while. It sounds like this from the D. From the D, it's one, two. One, two. One, two. All right, so that's the first line. Um, I'm going to play the first line through and you can either listen, play along, or a little bit of both. The first line of Castle Dangerous. Ready? One, two. Happy chantering!